Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another uh, LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2023 review, and this one's on the Expecto Patronum, of course. So on the front of the box here, we each have the LEGO Harry Potter logo and Wizarding World logo. Same border that we've been seeing since 2021. And you can see, we build and rebuild there, and showing the alternate model there, and also pictured models cannot be built simultaneously, of course. You see a picture of the set being presented in the uh, Forbidden Forest there, and age recommended, recommended ages is 14 up, set number 76414, and I pan down and see has the two minifig selection and has 754 pieces. And then flip to back the box, which otherwise which does show like the alternate model, but for this review, I'm going to be showing just the main model for that. But for, as for this alternate model, well, one thing I'm going to say is also it does look quite good for how it is. But yeah, and also an odd pick of the mini thing, things together there. And there. now onto the instruction manuals. You get two manuals for both builds. Like first one of which is about how they're transitioning to paper bags, add for the builder app. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then how all the Hogwarts sections of 2021 through 2023 can connect together, of course. And then the last steps. And then the second one of which just add for rebuild the world and last up for that. So now on to the two mini things included. First up we would have quite Young Harry Potter, which well, well, face printing and hair piece, same as they've been since 2018, and also do get the mid legs, of course, and also torso printing, which is exclusive to them, and also side arm printing, since this is the blue jacket that he has in uh, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, of course, and I think they captured it quite well for that, and that is he has the new wand piece. That's also used in the Battle of Hogwarts set, but also does have a, a trans blue dish piece, obviously representing when he does expect, expect Patronum, of course. And then other which is a Remus Lupin, which for front torso printing, quite good for that, and of course still using the same wand piece that's been around since 2018, and so her piece, same as it's been from like uh, last year's uh, Shrieking Shack and things, and same with the face print, of course. And on the back side, which see both of which do have some good back torso printing and also some double side faces, and of course Lupin's, of which same as from last year's Shrieking Shack as well. And as for this Mewfig selection as, as a whole. Uh, quite fair for how it is, but although I think they could have included something or an extra one, like obviously, like most likely werewolf, like werewolf Lupin, black, but pure black version of that, but or maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah, but at least this mini selection still workable, but yeah. To this little stand, which which is quite used on, which is used on both builds. Yeah, yeah. Or actually, is built differently on the other build, of course. But whereas, as you can see, kind of similar to like most UCS Star Wars set, 
but at least with some special decoration to it. Like at first, do you have this little build representing like an opened up scroll with a that is with a tile saying "Expect Patronum" on it, of course. And of course, a, a few studs in there, obviously, most likely to stand both your mini figs onto, of course, uh, like that. And then the rest of it, see, quite tiled off with a lot of blue uh, tiles, of course, and also so a couple of pizza slice tiles or corner tiles there, but with this bright blue with sparkly kind of texture to it, which is really nice. And also great to use for mocking. And this other side, which, which are just a couple of these odd slope pieces. But of course, which you expect to use with the alternate build for that. But for this, which probably to represent like some other magic bits to it that is underneath the stag build, of course. And also do have like three different flower pieces stacked up on top of each other. Very interesting for that. But this side of which, which does have one of those uh, plant stem pieces, but in black. And also those recent leaf pieces in bright blue, which is nice to use for mocking, of course. And that's for this center section, which is looks kind of similarly to an anvil, but at least kind of narrow in one side of which. And those does have a lot of these uh, like vine type pieces, but in translucent blue like we saw on some recent Ninjago sets of course and also those other slope pieces but in black which is nice to use for mocking and as he does a few jumpers and studs on them just to fit the build onto which I'll go over later but yeah. And now on to the uh, Expect Patron Stag here as you can see quite larger and a lot different than the one that we got in the Expected Patronum set, small one in 2019, but, and of course, from first glance, you can see that the like, coloring of it, which is mostly bright blue, translucent blue, and also translucent blue with the uh, sparkle glittering to it. Although, it would have been nice if it were all translucent blue, well, or maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. So now, from the ground up, like I always do, which, as you can see, for the uh, feet or hoof parts, which comprise mostly those tooth pieces in translucent blue, and see which are on the little hinge joints to there. And also, do you get an, some more of those uh, vine pieces in blue representing the like magic c coming off of it? And, and of course, mostly uh, plain uh, curved slopes around. And then for this upper leg of which, which has those large uh, slope leg pieces and those recent slope pieces in this bright blue, nice to see there. And of course, a Nexo Knight's shield piece in translucent blue, but with a sparkliness to it, uh, which nice for mocking, of course. But like on the side part of which just a lot more sloping to it, especially with these smaller ones, of course. For that. But then onto the back legs, so which sort of the same stuff as the front legs, but of course backwards. And those things are coming right off backwardly. And then also do you get uh, those like uh, curved slopes, but with a, with a glittery effect, which really nice to see there. All new look version of that piece to see there. Which is definitely useful in mock game, of course. And then for the upper part of which, which still same kind of thing going on with these dome pieces, but all the way around instead of like in one section. And the next night shield again. And also, as with all four legs, is that they're on clickety ratchet joints. Oh, whoops. Yeah, ratchety joints, so at least you can get some good posability for them out of them. And as for the back part of which, as, 
as it does have a little hump like part many of those slope kind of bits and of course a little uh, large slope representing the tail part and also uh, some more sloping on there of course and now back onto the front part as you can see it's just mostly these corner slopes and also another Nexon Knight's shield representing that of course and as for this upper neck part as you can see it does have those other uh, curved slopes in bright blue although I think would have been better also I think would be better if they were in the uh, translucent sparkly blue like we saw on the back legs but maybe that wouldn't be much but I it, but just me but yeah but as for this back part of which I think they did quite good in this area of which there's plenty of curved slopes and jagged slopes but done quite well for that and on the back side of the neck so it's a lot more of that going on now on to the upper head part which does work out quite well like obviously have some more uh, sloping and corner plates going on and also one of those corner pieces again and also flat stud in the same color as well also used for the nose well for the nose of course and also one of these panel pieces in that same glittery effect to that so really nice to see there and also use good to be used outside of the Marvel Mex line of course and of course those uh, other corner pieces used as like the ears of course and also they do have a good bit of posability to them and as for the antlers here which are comprised of those Technic macaroni pieces and also the old time dinosaur tail pieces and Technic bits to that and they all work out quite well for that of course so now to get it on the stand as, as for if you are to display it but just as is it's nice and sturdy for that like if you get the legs all together in the right positioning that is but as for which the stand do which I see it does have a few uh, white uh, reverse studs on there which connect to the studs on here these and attach them like that and there and even while on the stand you can get some good posability to it like with the front legs out or whatever and also no one big lock that I have is these vine pieces kind of pop off easily and also what I forgot to mention is got four of them in the back legs and of course two for the front legs of course but however still good posability to this set there and so now on to the final verdict so overall I think this is which a quite good set oh wait hang on but anyways so overall this is which a kind of quite cool set for how it is like get both how there's two builds representing both the patronum animals but the, even though the stag is probably the most prominent for that which is why it's mentioned the most on the covers but yeah on the box cover but yeah and as for the minifig selection which quite good for how it is but yeah but also as you can see this did have a lot of bright blue in it so at least this also works out well as a good parts pack with for a lot of bright blue and a little bit of translucent blue on it as well but yeah and although kind of odd how there's not any uh, like uh turning features like we had with both Burtail, fox and headwing from over the last few years but this would still workable like the recent Dobby set of this current wave. But 
And of course, I like the Hungarian Horntail uh, scent of which at least a little higher than those previous two, but, but at least it's still kind of workable for that. And for the price for PC, which kind of good for how it is, but and also good size for the price point, but yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set to have, and that's about it for this video, please like,